Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our video weather edition called Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South, where it comes to what's going on with your weather forecast, we've got all the information going on. We cover West Tennessee, East Arkansas, and Northern Mississippi. Everything below the boot heel of Missouri and down to the north of Middle Mississippi is about the main area there through the I-40 corridor and into around Memphis and the surrounding environs there so thanks for stopping by and learning more about what's going on today is field day the logo just almost visible here amateur radio operators will be around and about the area today if you'd like to know more about that stay tuned to news channel 3 online we'll have more details about how you can get involved and what to look for when you're in and around the area where it comes to amateur radio so stay tuned for more on that current conditions here in this bar 73 degrees zero percent chance of rainfall north winds about 10 high temperatures today your forecast partly to mostly cloudy temperatures back in the mid 80s again northerly winds occasionally breezy at times but not doing too bad and then down here temperatures down into the mid 60s as we get into later on this evening so if you have any plans for outdoors looks like you can go ahead and keep them because of the rainfall chances at this time pretty much gone from the mid south at this point not seeing a lot coming our way anytime soon in Memphis a little bit of sunshine earlier this morning but currently a lot of cloud cover out across the area this view from the weather underground camera system a view from the Ole Miss campus from Crosby Hall looking at the construction area at the area around the Student Union. Looks like they're finally starting to get things a little bit closer to being wrapped up and can't wait to see what that looks like when it is finished. More cameras available at our website .edu. Taking a look at current conditions in Germantown. Mostly cloudy, kind of humid, 76% humidity. Winds will be breezy for today out of the north at about 10 miles per hour or so so that'll continue to keep the temperatures down but not exactly what you would call cool we're back in the lower 70s at this point so not doing too bad over the next several hours again temperatures will be rising into the mid to upper 70s to around the lower 80s zero percent chance of rainfall expected and that goes right on into early this afternoon so there's really just little if anything taking place in the way of showers or thunderstorms out there temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day partly cloudy at times mostly cloudy at others might even be overcast for a little bit but it doesn't look like it's going to be totally sunny or totally overcast for the entire day so if you have any plans again for outdoors this is going to be a good day to get out and get things done because the rainfall chances at this time will not be doing too much of anything in the way of major amounts of problems so good news on that but we do have again the potential for more rain back into the forecast and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit what does it look like out there for the rest of the day today let's go ahead and run the numbers and show you more <coughs> excuse me about what's going on currently we're seeing again the possibility of some light scattered showers taking place into areas just south of the mid-south down into around the area close to Alabama extreme northeastern Mississippi south of Corinth right back around Tupelo mid to late morning temperatures in the mid to upper 70s to the lower to mid 80s getting into the rest of the day today lower to mid 80s across much of the area for early this afternoon and again, chances for rainfall mainly down into around northeastern areas of Mississippi, northwest Alabama, but even that will be moving its way away from the area and heading out across the Mid-South. High temperatures today, again, lower to mid-80s. This is what we're going to be looking for numbers for the rest of the day today. It's going to be warm, and that cold front, as it came on through, did sweep away a good amount of the very warm tropical air but there's still a decent amount of humidity left out there so it might feel just a little bit on the close side out there definitely might need a need for a fan or that extra bottle of water it is going to be warm it's just not going to be as all fired hot as it possibly could be for this time of the year so definitely good news where it comes to that into the rest of the day today so this is what you're going to be expecting into the day itself heading into tonight temperatures past about news channel 3 at 10 going back into the lower to mid 60s even a few mid to upper 50s as we get into very very early tomorrow morning most of that in west tennessee some of that could make its way into around northeastern parts of mississippi but mostly west tennessee you can see the coolest Numbers. Metro area back into the mid 60s, maybe even a few upper 60s into the rest of the forecast there. Heading into tomorrow morning around daybreak and midday, temperatures again rising. It'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow than what it was today. 
and temperatures throughout the rest of the afternoon. A little bit just a skosh warmer back in the upper 80s in some locations and that little bit more humidity out there might make it a little bit more uncomfortable but otherwise again not nearly as bad as it could be for this time of the year. Heading into tomorrow night a few more clouds start to drift on through and temperatures will be back in the upper 60s to lower 70s as we round out the last weekend of June 2017. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on in our seven day forecast. Temperatures today lower to mid 80s quite pleasant all the way around. It could be a lot worse for this time of the year. Back into the mid 80s as we head into Sunday, but still not looking at anything in the way of chances of rainfall for tomorrow. Likewise on Monday, less chances of anything involving rainfall coming on through. Mostly cloudy by the time we hit afternoon and evening, and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming up on Thursday and Friday. Also a small chance possible, very small chance, about 20% on Tuesday. Again, Thursday and Friday it's not much, but if you have plans, that's about the best possibility of anything involving showers or thunderstorms making their way into the Mid-South anytime soon. Could this change? Yeah, absolutely. No question about that. But as of right now, this is the way that it's looking for the time being. So major amounts of rainfall not being seen, but it still could, again, be something to take a look at as we go throughout the next several days. Let's go ahead and take a look into the tropics. And good news at this time, what was left of Cindy barreling on out of the area yesterday, heading on up to the New England area, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and out into the Atlantic. We are not seeing anything in the way of major problems. The National Hurricane Center says that there's, as of right now, little if anything expected for the next two to five days. So hopefully it stays that way. But keep in mind that can also change as new systems begin to make their way off of Africa and spin up over Portland of the Atlantic. So if you're heading to the Gulf Coast, if you're heading on a cruise into the Caribbean, if you've got business anywhere between uh, Miami and Portland, Maine, you want to check the forecast because you don't want to be heading into a situation that you're going to have to just turn right back around uh, and get right back out of in case something develops. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the course of the next several days. Don't forget about our weather app. Keep track of what's going on in the tropics and also here in the Mid-South area. We'll keep you updated on what's going on. Also, for my entire forecast, if you can't tune in on TV or watch online, listen on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 from the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, and you can find out more there. Also, you can find out more on my social media pages as well if you'd like to keep up to date. Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twi Twitter, and Facebook trying to get Snapchat going. Still haven't had great, the greatest luck on that, but working on it. Now, if you'd like to know more about this, about amateur radio coming up in the course of the next several days, if you can get uh, a little bit more about that. Field day is coming our direction. It is today and tonight. It's a worldwide event. It's the biggest day of the year for amateur radio operators. If you'd like to know more, you can go to the website ARRL, the American Radio Relay League.org. More information all the way across the Mid South. I'm going to be posting a lot more on my various social media networks. And if you have any plans for going outdoors, if you'd like to know more about amateur radio, this is your opportunity to get involved. If you'd like to know more about how to be an amateur radio operator, getting your kids or yourself involved in the hobby, it's very easy to do and not as expensive as you might think. Very easy to get a license to be on the air. There are three levels of license, and, and there's no uh, requirement for Morse code. It's something that kind of rankles a lot of amateur radio operators in some cases, but if you'd like to take the test, you can still do that. Mine is about five to ten words per minute, not the best, but at least I still have that on there, and I took my general license from Captain Howard Thompson at Germantown Fire Department just about a year or so ago. If you'd like to know more about how to get on the air, take a look around the Mid-South area. There will be parks and churches and civic and county buildings that will have tents and large antennas set up where there normally are not any. And that's your opportunity to stop by and talk to the amateur radio operators who are there about what they do, how they do it. The reason they're doing this today, field day, is for operating in the field. 
This is a good opportunity to learn more about what to do when disaster strikes and how to operate remotely in case power is down, in case we have major infrastructure upsets, things like that. But amateur radio is also good for just talking to each other, what we call rag chewing out there, and a good way to stay in contact to communicate over great distances. If you'd like to know more, again, take a look at our various social media pages and tons more information available. Just get out in the community and take a look around, and they'll be out there for the rest of the day. Questions, concerns, comments, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and stay tuned for more throughout the course of the rest of the weekend on air and online. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining us for today's complete update of the morning edition of News Channel 3's Weather Overtime.